Welcome back to the Black Parade, Mission 3, Trial of Iron. There is... Somebody patrolling here who's... Uh, pocket I'd like to pick, and I'm not sure the best place from which to maybe grab... He had someone following close behind him. Yeah, I'm way too close behind him. If I can't reach it from here, I'm... I'm screwed. No, not from here. Well, I'm not screwed, but... I'll have to find a better location. From which to ambush. Oh wait, are they going to be pounds? Only people I have to work with are so incompetent, so stupid, so lazy. I don't see why I should be the one to be put with these incompetent people. Ah, oh, that's where they go. Wait. Here is our pick <sighs> pickpocketing spot, right? If he comes this way, of course he might not come this way. <coughs> he shall walk by with his left hip close to my in hand. And his purse. I'll leave his body. Or he's actually going down this hallway. And the word went before him, on a breeze carrying our salvation. Here at last is a man with the mind of the general and the heart of the poet. What? May the builder smile upon thee, brother. And may thy spirit be ever sharp. Well, this is not good. They didn't come this way. Are they trying to make a fool out of me? If somebody's coming this way, that's... Awkward. Potentially. Yeah. Where's this fella going? Weird to me. This isn't the first mission with a, you know what, with a confessional that I played. But I don't see confessionals as part of a hammerite thing at all. It seems entirely very, very uh, um, hammerite kind of thing. Oh, you're not the one with the first of they swap sides. Have they swap positions? Okay, the first guy's last. That's going to make it super easy. Right, done. Now this can go. Hello, who art thou? You heard nothing. It was just the sweet pinging of a boiler. Now you also have a sweet purse full of sweet loot. <laughs> Uh, let me not disturb thy prayers, brother. It would be unwise. All right, now we have to go to cross again, and then I cross because I want to get to the other side. Like a chicken across a road. 
appear at last as a man with the mind of a general and the heart of a poet, yet also with the hands of a builder, he will lift us up from the earth. I guess they stopped to say hello to each other and uh, kept interfering with each other's path or something. Maybe that's why they changed relative positions in their patrols. Quarters on the right, which will be good. But we also want to go get the treasury. I haven't heard any footsteps coming from this direction. The reliquary? Experimental blockade device. Multifunction gyrator engine. Hello, we've got a, a possible vent up there as well. Banners to deal with. <sighs> Dude, that door is nice and fast. Why is someone super slow and someone not? We shall have to be on the lookout for wandering priests. Ooh, they cannot touch. Hello? Are you okay there, man? Is, um... Is that a normal place for you to stand? Did you... Is this your penance for... For sins committed? To stand in the corner, staring... Stand in the light well, staring at the corner. I mean... You should probably be doing a better job of protecting this place against the predations of thieves like me, but, you know, I guess I'm not complaining. Do you react to this? Nope, how about this? Hmm, I thought I heard something. Hmm. Chase away the hoofed liar, roof and doorway, block and beam, chase the trickster from our dream. There's nothing now, right? And the word went before him of a thing to bring us salvation. Here at last is a man with the mind of the general and the mind of the poet, yet also with the hands of the builder. He will lift us up from the earth. A little concerned you might see me go trying to grab this one. Nope. Alright. I mean yeah. There's a beam there as well, you could rope across, but you can get me anywhere else. Let us leave our hands. Nay, the soap is too low. Can I get past him? Is our shield yes. Knowledge is our weapon. Ah, and here is the stairs. Is it upper floor? Which is all very well. And I have not finished exploring this floor yet. Bob's priests. Area. When am I going to get my dinner? That's what I would like to know. Well, I'll get someone to put your dinner in the other corner that you're not facing. So there was this other door, right? Was this... No, that's the way I came in. There's this door. I don't know where it goes. 
Hmm, out doors by the sound of it. But probably do not need to worry too much about it, but let's have it unlocked. And open it into our face. Right, this is a gun. Which is still being patrolled, I presume. Probably worth exploring the garden area at some point, but uh, just here, it's fine. Okay, let's get upstairs to the priest's quarters. Hmm. I thought I spied something. What a nonsense idea! ladder into the corner of the room. It is! Oh, we see. There's uh, potentially a place to access there. Let us see if there's more than a potential. And somehow not hurt ourselves while failing to catch the rope. Okay. There we are. Toss these doors open. Nay, that's Karis Mate. All right, let's grab the rope from another rope. Father Fabricius, Master of Rites and Ceremonies. Coast seems clear. Oh, he's got a uh, second room. And let's see who else is here. Father Bohard, Master Librarian, and Father Crusader, Grand Inquisitor of North Quarter. Oh, he's, he's here, he's just being super silent. Okay, that's bad for me. So she does nothing. Is that a balcony? All right, I know that balcony. Doesn't he go out there sometimes? Super weird to have someone be utterly silent. Alarm control room key. Now we're talking. That sounds extremely valuable. If we knew where the alarm control room was, it would be somewhat more so. I shall not say no to a second flash bomb either. Now, my problem is I want to deal with this banner of his, but he will probably notice that. So I could stand in full shadow in the corner if I time my movements right. And then, pray that I do not hit the candlestick instead. Alright, he will probably notice the banner is cut, but he will probably not come running out here. At least I hope not.
guy is the Inquisitor. Is he in his rooms and being quiet, or is he not in? Somebody's walking. He's being inquisitive. How appropriate. Okay, he likes to wander around. Let's take a moment and be inquisitive ourselves and see if we can make something of his patrol pattern and predict at least a little bit where he will go and where we can safely go. Understand not why his eminence promoted the Craven Guillard to Master Forger. Is this another political trick of his? The old crow's only goal in this mortal life seemeth to be living in luxury whilst berating his brethren from his nightly perch. Why was he able to purchase the old Duskal Manor in Hightown whilst his congregation is in dark smoke? And worse still, how and why was he not demoted when twice was his parish robbed under his very nose last year? Something needs to be done about this and fast. What says you, F? Oh, you know what, if I'm... Boot. I was gonna say I'm in agreement with you, but... Whence came thee here? Hold! I'll... I'll deal with the problem. Thanks for the flash bomb, other priest. That's quite useful in the end. I guess he can be asleep on his bed. Aha! Uh -huh. To the most revered Archbishop Arundel, dwelling in St. Tenor's Priory in Dark Smoke, be this letter delivered with haste. I greet thee well, revered friend, and wish that this mishap of mine does not disturb thy works, for those are most urgent matters. I let thee wait that preprandially yon bell's repose, Friar Lucas, one of Father Devil's infame little parasites, came to me in my cell without announcing himself before the Templars, and wisheth me a good evening. And when I express it, expresseth my legitimate annoyance about his rudeness, he told me, I shall not suffer thy childish anger, Crucigur, for I know that even with this lowly rank of mine, I am infinitely more just than thee. I came to tell thee that I know and shall prove that thou made thy palace an idol of worship instead of the builder's tenets, by visiting both common whores and high courtesans alike, that thou art inhaling the burning of the tricksters of herbs in secluded cellars. Thou hast made thy rank into an object of ridicule, thou no longer walk in his grace. How did he wist? How much does he wist? Is he alone in the know? So many questions and so little time. We must think fast before there are more leaks to plug than fingers available. Methinks we must put an end to this worm's miserable existence, lest he destroys our reputation with the folly of his misguided self-righteousness. What dost thou thinkest of using the services of an assassin? Provost Ancillion knows a man named Goro. He is more discreet than, for example, the elusive rogue that robbed Father Giyav's coffers twice last year. And he still owes me for keeping this mad dog Mosgus off his property. We shall need to offer him quite a sum in order to get rid of this little piece of manure. But I certainly do not want to be branded an oathbreaker. And if I fall, thou fall. Five hundred thousand crowns, dost thou think it shall be enough? I can arrange obtaining half of it with a few missives and threats of questionable activities aired more or less at the hoi polloi. The remaining half is left to thy ableness with politics. In the meantime, I shall rent a room at Grimfast Inn, and a skiff too, in case we are in dire need of escaping. Crucigur. Looks like I'm more respectable than you, and I don't pretend to be a man of faith. I don't know, I don't know about more respectable, particularly there, Hume. But perhaps less hypocritical. <sighs> mm, anything 
hiding any any kind of switches or whatnot around the place? Presumably not, right? And who knows what kind of secrets he might have here? Who was he writing to again? Archbishop Arundel in Dark Smoke, okay. So we should expect to find that in the Inquisitor's torture rooms. Let's make a note, right? Uh, torture rooms, hide pagan secrets. Seems possible. Master Librarian. Is he at home? He seems not to be. He's got a noisy floor, though. And the Lux chest. And a messy bed. Pillows on the floor. It is unseemly for one of the builders priests to be so reckless in their nocturnal revolutions. <sighs> it's not there. Alright. I feel like we are done with these three rooms. Which means I think we're done with the priest's quarters, right? It's just a stairwell. Well, unless I, know, unless I hear of anything else. We got the key to the alarm control room, which is valuable for sure. Um, where would the alarm control room be? I mean... We haven't been to the factory warehouse or astronomy section at all. We haven't been to the barracks and cloister around the back either. Right, they're out that way. Nor have we been to the kitchen. Alright, we've got a lot more yet to discover of this place. Alright, sorry, I looked at all that before. Halt! Be someone there? Hammer and will fall to is really... I do wonder what it was. This is really but very It seems funny. gone now. I'm the first ever god. I don't see why I should be placed here. When everyone else is out running around, when am I going to get my dinner? That's what I would like to know. That will be a, a screenshot. I'll probably post that in the Discord soon. Alright, where am I? Where are we going? West. I don't think I can get to the reliquary. Right through here. Oh, this is not... No, no, I was going to say, this is not somewhere I've been. This is somewhere I've been. going to him from the cloister and this is the reliquary yeah we should maybe not even set foot in there until we know what's going on right training room sparring room Downstairs, okay. Plenty of hammers, should I want one? This also just goes to the walkway in the voice. I 
shall find thee, villain. Ouch! Cheating bastard, seeing me as I was invisible in the doorway. After I'd successfully dodged you twice, that's, that's, I guess I could have been a little more wary, since I do know how twitchy the AI, uh, AI is when they're still alerted and have not calmed down. New sleeping pose, hand over face. Uh, so I should have I should have known that it wasn't going to be safe to be that close to him. That's, that's kind of on me. Ugh. Oh my god, that sound! I keep forgetting to fix it up between episodes. Hello. Oh, it's going east. <sighs> Wait, is that just going to, uh... Oh, the way to the roof. So we could just go back in there. We can't get to the roof from here. We could go... We could have got here from the roof, I guess, maybe? Or maybe that's just in ventilation. Well, one last person patrolling the cloister is. Herald is such a lazy, incompetent jackknoll. Hast thou seen the garden surrounding our noble abbey? Tis full of the trickster's odious spots. Come now, I'm sure our good brother is doing all he can to tame this unruly vegetation. Though thou must admit he is very old and his might is not what it used to be. Aye, tis true. But still. Brother Perrault could take one of these Lapwick novices and name him caretaker in his stead. Mine eyes cannot stand the sight of these wild trees, leaves, and roots around our sacred walls. That is a good idea, brother. In truth, this should make them reflect on their nature, as I saw a novice from the high water station outside a tavern the other day. Thou canst be assured I vehemently scolded him and reminded him of our builder's holy tenets. And thou were right to do so, of course. Mm. this way. Better not come in here, though. Message. Oh, thou art an ass, an ass that brays too loud even. Thou have attracted the attention of the wrong people. Is subtlety too strange a concept for thy small head? Asking the treasurer and the church warden if the vault is trapped was such an ill thought out maneuver that the cardinal himself suspects thee of wanting to lay thy hands on the abbey's funds, and he asked me in person to keep a close eye on thee. Of course, the treasury is trapped. The lever beside the vault door does not open it, but merely activates the trap. Thou were to discover how to open it, and discreetly. While thou were making a fool of thyself, I heard that the door is seemingly operated by a concealed lever in the Cardinal's chambers. But thanks to thy big my mouth and thy stupidity, there is no way we can reach it with the Cardinal, the Treasurer, and the Church Warden being this suspicious. Make thyself scarce for now, but be aware that next time Abbot Montmoisson asks for funds for his little parties, thou shalt be to blame, and not me. S. Sealed lever in the Cardinal's chambers. Okay. Sealed lever in Cardinal's room. Or vault. We saw the Cardinal. It's always a room. I don't remember where it was now. It 
wasn't up in the priest quarters, right? Or was it? I mean, it would make sense. Was it the first big room I went into there? Uh, my... My memory says it wasn't, but my memory is unreliable. These lazy priests commanding us are a shameful taint upon our holy order. Hear the sorry spectacle I witnessed this morning. They were enjoying imbecilic activities as futile as they were vacuous, lying on their big couches with cushions as large as their fat, greasy paunches while we spend our time cleaning, studying, and attending masses. When a suddenly the lunch bell rang and they all changed into literal stampeders, the kind you hear of in pagan epics. And here they were, gorging on sangria as glazed with honey, Illyrian clarets, Rissel filled to the brim with fruits, eating ravenously as if they had been gutted. A lethargic feast worthy of a few dozen kings. Then, sated, they all went back to their chambers after this grotesque banquet, ready for a little digestive nap. Yes, we novices are so much holier. Alright, only some of us are planning to rob the place. Not even all of us at once. What arrows? Nice, how kind. He's got a lot of studying to do. <laughs> and the word went before him. We really have a place to hide, so... And being out of healing... It doth behoove me slightly to... Uh, be wary. Brother Gosselin, I share thy sentiment regarding Cardinal Berengia's current state of mind. It is quite baffling indeed, our eminence. The superior Cardinal Bellarmin decided to state that the downtown temple was from now on our main place of faith in the city. Cardinal Berengia worked so hard to restore our glorious abbey after it fell into disrepair. I'm sure it is because the temple is home to that accursed windy stone, this pagan relic. Our eminence, the superior Cardinal Bellarmin, should follow Father Guyav's example and systematically, systematically destroy heretical artifacts. Brother Terek. From the chest through the door. By on error, by mistake. It was not the plan. It was how fate shaped things to be. And I did it again. Brother Tigos, a couple of things I need us thee to take care of. Firstly, there is a faulty coil in the power station. Thou knowest more than anyone that malfunctioning equipment can be extremely dangerous, and I do not want to have another scorched the novice. Thou needs to repair it as soon as possible, but be ever vigilant. Secondly, it has come to my attention that Brother Bertolf was supposedly careless in his duty and was also reportedly seen drunk in the warehouse. This cannot be tolerated, and since I know thou sharest thy room with him, I would very much appreciate if thou talked some sense into him. Brother Bertolf is a very capable engineer, and it would be a tragedy if the rumours about him were true, and if Car Cardinal Berengia were to learn about them. Build a blessing in thy duty, Master Forger Reynaldus. <laughs> yes, frobbing chests through doors. Hello? Cardinal's announcement? Brethren, due to the Forger's lack of discipline and disdain for wisdom, be thou advised that the key to the alarm control room shall from now on be in the possession of Father Fabricius. Thus they signed his grace the Cardinal Berengia. Right, the forgers, not the not the people making false money, false coin. Yeah. I'm a right rank. I'm hearing footsteps again. Where are they coming from? Dream. 
Well, that did nothing. Uh, but it's not a smoke bar. He just turned around and came back to me. Can I still put the chest through the, through the door here? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so he just turned around and came back. I was not expecting of him because he didn't do so at that end, then surely this also goes through. Perhaps not, alright. Healing potion, that is wondrous indeed. I will not thank the builder, but I will say Nice. Good. I have a very, very low opinion of women's. Do not believe them, these impious women. These are the most disloyal, backstep, and most lying creatures that walk the builders earth. This brooder here tells you. Absolutely disgusting. Why, just last night I was out tending to the coil machines, and two of them approached me, tried to seduce me. But the builder is great, the builder is all, and I brandished my hammer and told them this brooder here would not be tempted by their charms, and they scurried away like the spawns of the trickster they are. Stay away from the brooder. Stay stray not from the path. Spitting like a true hammerite. Identify thyself. Is someone there? And the word. No, no, just rest peacefully. Oh, he does not go through. That was almost dangerous. I didn't even register what it was before I dropped again. I was trying to close the chest. I thought it was an empty chest. Another disruption bomb. Can I do this? Maybe it'll be better work better from the bed. <sighs> Evil banner! Somebody in red. This isn't the Cardinal, though. We've been to the Cardinal's room. <laughs> I can whistle while drinking. That's impressive. Well, he likes his... Liquids. <laughs> I'm curious what he has on his desk, too. Oh, money, you always say. Where has that gone to? The grapes <coughs> have disappeared. It is unseemly that the fruits of the trickster shall, should do like that. Hmm, nom nom. Oh, he's got it's just like food all over his bed, too. Oh, he leaves. Perfect. Treasury key. Blood of Endemia. In. Two small barrels of sacramental oil. <coughs> a chisel. A rosary made in St. Lucas' effigy. Three hammers. One of them supposedly belonging to St. Fabricius. Five candles made from beeswax. Three gears made from auricalcum. 
all the way from Atlantis. A sack of prunes moved to the pantry. A gold vase, a gift from Marquis de Melpoton. Miscellaneous offerings, 201. A diamond. Out. 12 effigies of Saint Tenor. Six breviaries with gold ornaments. Total estimated value, 401. Notes. The diamond was recovered from the odious miscreant who gnawed at young Squire Nevin's face this morning. An inquiry led by Brother Inquisitor has shown that this blasphemer is undeniably a satyr, or at the very least a wretched spawn of the trickster. Even though this sinner keeps lying on his identity and on how he obtained the diamond, Brother Inquisitor is confident he shall untie his tongue with help from the Broodquin. The diamond shall stain the Abbey's coffers pending sufficient confessions. Shall any confessions ever be sufficient? This he locks his door, and, uh... Unfortunately for me... I don't have a key, and I don't know when he's going to come back, so I don't want to be crouched on this side of the door trying to uh, lockpick it while he... when he wanders back in. Guys, you have snoring, man! Doesn't even block out the sound. It's terrible. So perhaps I could lock pick it from here. Just far enough back to be safe, I don't know. Brother Peridin, treasurer. Is that who is here? No, oh, there's somebody else patrolling. Alright. Mm -hmm. I don't know where the treasure went. But does that mean I've been to all these rooms then? So, there's a guy there. Yes. Okay. Identify thyself. Is someone there? Vigilant. Hmm. There's nothing there now. <coughs> okay. That was close. But not. Almost good. I've been very sparing on it because I've had so little and I'm never sure when some might be critical. Hello. Nay! It's just the wind in the branches. down over... Is that the reliquary? It might be the reliquary. Can't close it again. And this looks over... Right, that room. Right, I don't know if that helps me much, but... Um... Yeah, that would be the reliquary. That would be... At least an easy way to go in and grab the thing. Once, of course, of course, once the alarm is turned off. Okay, we have another couple of rooms here still to deal with. No, we've been in there. Oh. Identify Oh, 
From what shadow sprang thou, villain? Thou canst not stay in shadows forever. All right, he's going to keep him riled up for much too long, unfortunately, but he's got him searching in the wrong place, and that's the important thing. <sighs> Still, I'm going to be on, on alert here. So. Need to be careful about letting him pass too close to me, but um, danger avoided. So why is that western door any closer? Oh, there's more of the barracks there. Okay, that's why. Okay, so like it seemed to go into another area, but another building was just a another small wing. In the traditional sense of the washroom. Where's that wooden sound coming from? There's always one, there's always one, always gonna be a troll chest, right? That's, that's the rule. Nice barrel there. <sighs> that looks awfully like a doorway. To where would it be leading to? To keep going west and stairs? No, that's a... It's a fireplace. Oh yeah, there was the lower floor. We saw that before. Okay, hang on. I want to steal the food from me, but I think somebody's on the other side of that door coming, approaching quickly. I guess I'm wrong, because they're not approaching yet, but there they are. Okay. And they don't spend very long in that room. <coughs> Perhaps long enough for us to grab some food and have a couple of munches. Mm, didn't do me any good whatsoever. All this healthy food. Give me some lamb or burrick. No, not burrick. Burricks are friends, not food. They're not always friends either, but they're still not food. Any more edibles? How about the top? <sighs> Some firewood. Well, that's unhelpful. Alright, and that door goes south, so that probably goes back into the church. Let's have a quick look. And this is the refectory. I've not been in here. <sighs> Right. 
Yes, right, and that goes to the kitchen. And if we go down the stairs, we get to the basement in a ladder. Perfect. Once we've dealt with the, all these evil banners in this area. Where are you going, man? dealt with there. That's the church garden, okay. This is... the potty room. Well, he's going to be coming back in a minute, so I need to be a little careful about where I'm standing here. Oh, I didn't do the banner. Still don't know where the alarm control room is. I have no heard nothing of it. And they've got the key to it. They've got the key to the treasury. But um, hello. Oh, there's our friend. He went to get more wine, presumably. So this is where he left. place to be. Intruder! Beware an intruder! She's the It's the ladder. Let's make ourselves scarce. This must be the alarm control room. Treasury. Hello? Whence came they here? Hold. There's nobody here. I don't know what you're talking about. There's nobody here. I don't have any flash bombs. What am I going to do? Run in circles. And then... Try desperately to come up with an escape plan. This won't work. Next time, mine hammer shall smash thee! Bring thyself hither, this way. Okay, so we've riled everybody up. In this whole area, that's the good news. Where's this? Bidden, unlabeled, locked. Catacombs. Why not? That looks valuable. The dead have no need of treasures such as this anymore. <laughs> this is the one that's uh, they've they've they went blank. They're uh, they clamped it shut. I like these pillars. Oh, I don't like the tops of them. The tops of them are pretty awkward, but the lower part is very good. 
Are we snoozing down here? Novice? Very extensive, uh, scripts. To be quite honest, does this novice have anything on him? Should have checked before, but apparently not. Alright. I've kind of lost my bearings down here. We know the alarm control room is close. We know the ladder is close. Forgotten where it is. Hello. Hungry, so hungry. Well, could bring him food except I've eaten it all. I guess there's probably more food in the larder, right? I didn't. I didn't rob the whole larder. Hello. Oh, it's the stairs to the lower level. God, the singing there is. Hopefully loud for a dungeon. A dungeon, a torture chamber. Yes, we got notes about that place, right? I mean, I don't know if it's true. If he goes in there, I'm screwed. Something new you thought I saw. I thought he was going to. All there. is quiet now. I guess not. <clears throat> right, alarm control room. say alarm controls the on or off that looks like on to be quite honest but I don't really claim to know if this is a treasury well we shall soon find out about the alarm shall we won't we oh except that's the whole door problem We have not resolved. Is our friend still in the ladder here? Yes. Sleep there with her face in the wine. Imbibe until our stop us imbibing. All right, we've got some food we can give to the prisoner. I don't know if it counts for anything. So uh, that kind of looks like it needed some more smoothing on its polygons. At the end, don't bother too much tomorrow. Just throw large cheese beans and barley together in a cauldron and cook that in one go. We'll add a pinch of salt to balance the taste of the monk's portion. The acolytes will be able to eat the rest. They don't have the right to complain anyway. The priests seem to enjoy these fricasseed larks with butter. Let's continue. In the meantime, start preparing the mushroom pie for the treasurer and bring him his hypocras. Remember that he offers a little extra from his own purse if we discreetly get him his precious little treat after dark. Pierre. His own purse? Okay. Now we've explored the ladder a little more safely than last time. Um, we need to get to the Cardinal's room if we're going to go to the Treasury. And, you know, we have a lot of things to do here. The alarm may be off. Alarm being off does not mean nobody's going to notice if the uh, 
How many thingy are you? Chalice, that's the thing. Goes missing, right? Someone might well notice. Where's this go? Right, that's the way in. I'm just gonna leave the doors open because it's just like so much easier for me to see what's going on. And here I have not been. Looks like a storage room. I store all the broken goods in hopes that they will spontaneously repair themselves. Another rogue arrow. Spare torture equipment. Spare baths. And an elevator to where? Bears investigating. Are you hiding beneath? No. Let's bring it back down. There's somebody there. Are they coming this way? Or are they just moving about in that room? Okay, this might just be the stairs we saw earlier. It leads to the lower floor. Yes. He can see me out the corner of his eye, but he seems to have calmed down. So where is this then? Let's burn a water arrow. Ah, power. <clears throat> Whoa, there's a lot of people here. Hold on to one of these wires. Which one? It doesn't matter, Apprentice, but choose quickly. All right, now what? Hmm. Well, don't touch the other. <laughs> it must be the one that's alive. <laughs> Is he coming out this way? That's not good for me. No, just going to stand by the door, all right. All right. Well, don't know what this room is all about, but we'll have to wait until the next episode. So thanks for watching, and next time we'll figure out what's going on in here. We'll head back up to the cardinal, look for his lever, and we'll try and rub all the good stuff out of the place. So uh, see you soon for that.